Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for November 1st. So, 11 1. Oh, 11 1. So, 1 1 1. <laughs> oh boy, your thoughts become things, right? I mean, remember that. 1 1 1 is instant manifestation. Really pay attention to your thoughts at this time, okay? Um. Keep in mind that this is a daily energy for somebody, not everybody, and the timing is fluid, so we will see whatever comes up here. What do we have for today? Somebody's given up. Held on for quite some time, and I'm giving up. Ooh, the death card! Yikes. So, you know, hey, they go they go together, right? They do go together. And something is ending. And you know, I wasn't sure about this song last night about oh three o'clock in the morning. I this song Bluebird by Christina Perry came into my I couldn't remember the name of it, I could just remember the lyrics. I literally got up and got on my computer and searched to find this song because I was like, this song was like playing over and over in my head. Bluebird. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So anyway, um, so I listened to it last night and then I went back to bed. This morning, that, that song is back strong as ever. So it definitely has to do with today. So I'm checking my comments. I, I approve all my comments, you know, just to, because I do. Anyway, um, I'm going through my comments, and during the Pisces reading that I did for November, there was a little birdie that was at my window. It, like, was literally at my freaking window, and that's crazy, so, because I haven't heard no birds. I mean, there's birds out there, but I haven't heard any birds specifically in a while. So, anyway, I'm going to check my comments, and um, somebody says under the Pisces video, Birds are a sign from angels. So it's all playing out together, you know. I This morning I get that birds are a sign from angels. And now I just heard another freaking bird. Amazing. Anyway, um, however, I don't know what that means, but it, maybe there's angels around that are helping you. And I'm going to listen to the song again, and I'll put a link down below. But it's whatever is happening, there could be a broken heart. Because something is ended. It's about a broken heart. How do you heal a broken heart? So, anyway. Maybe in here we have some angels, right? Or these cherubs. You know, there's this, this, is, this is the death card. Somebody is going through a release, a giving up. It's the end. But remember, endings bring new beginnings, right? There's been a delay. Somebody has been trying to, with this card, they've really been trying to stick it out. Hold on. I've been trying to hold on for a long time. Trying to delay this transition. Ooh, but you can't. You can't delay it. It's, it's time. It's time. You see, they're mirroring each other now. It's like, now is the time for you to evolve. You know, things are, you aren't the person that you used to be. Whatever is happening is going to bring more balance and harmony to your life. We could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody has lost their focus, their ambition, their drive. It's like I don't have any desire or strength. There's no desire or strength to carry on in this manner. Yep, Knight of Wands. Act now, think later. It's because there's an impulsive, perhaps, and maybe you've done all the thinking you can do. You've definitely put in a lot of effort to hang on to something. 
before letting it go. But now it's like, you know, I action. Lights, camera, action, action. Definitely a fire sign involved here, perhaps. End of a partnership. Yes, I mean, the two of cups reverse. It's like this, this isn't working out. There's no more compatibility here. Woo! Yikes. Yeah, somebody is deciding to take the high road. The choice is being made. And somebody has been thinking about it. But it's like, you see, I think this is like a compass or something. It's been pointed towards the past, but it looks as though this person is deciding, I want the future. I want something new. There's a, There's been this choice for quite some time. Do I stay stuck here? Do I move on? There could be a sudden decision made with this card as well. Where somebody suddenly, and, and this is the action, and they're mirroring each other, suddenly decides to go. It's, it's a sudden de decision. <laughs> so I feel as though there's the, there's the uh, transition in the process. And it's uh, a sudden decision to depart this situation, a sudden departure, you know, because staying where I'm at, there's, there's no more growth. There's no more happiness. There's been too many family feuds, perhaps, between people, between family members. And there's been a lack of emotional support. Somebody has has held on almost like till the better end, and I, I I can't hold on anymore. So it feels as though they are taking action and suddenly deciding to head in a new direction after they've delayed it for quite some time. We have a couple. It looks like that has lost <clears throat> passion for each other. They've lost the passion. They've lost the... They've lost confidence in each other. And it's like they, they don't even... Maybe maybe they don't even sleep in the same room anymore. They don't even communicate anymore. It's like they're far away. They, they, the communication has dropped to the point where maybe they don't even know each other anymore. Anyway, it's like now the, the time is now for me to leave and start over. That's what this is. That is what this is. So there is a release. I give up. I'm ready to go. It is what it is, right? Somebody's in the process of Choosing that new path right now. The path that they've been thinking about but delaying. I mean, I can't. There's really not much more to say to this. Other than. I'm at this crossroads and I'm ready for a change. Because I'm not the same person that I used to be. And the time is now. Our purpose, our time together is up. That's what this is. I mean, I can't, what can I say? 
what's happening here. Somebody has been staying in a troublesome situation and holding on to it for too long. Now they just want peace because where they've been, there's no happiness, there's no wish fulfillment. time to close this door because I want I want better better I want better and because this is the change of course this is destiny this is divine timing it's a destined change of course on the horizon that is going to bring you something better and everything happens for a purpose we were talking about purpose a second ago our purpose, my, our purpose together is done. It's time for a new chapter to begin. And a new chapter is about to begin that is going to bring you good luck, good fortune, and a brand new beginning. So one, one chapter of your life, this is a completion, is ending. And a new one is beginning that is going to bring you something better because the wheel of fortune is good luck. Something better is coming because the course is changing. It's like the wheel is spinning and bringing you something new because it's time. This is divine timing. Somebody has stayed in an unhappy, unfulfilling, unemotionally filling situation that was has lost that loving feeling for quite some time. They've evolved. It's like destiny is playing out, heading them in a new direction. It's that destined change, of course. One door is closing, especially with that death card. It's, it's, a, it's a major ending here, be, in, which sparks a, a new beginning that leads you down that path to happiness. Oh, my God. The Empress. Rebirth. It is a miracle. The Empress gives birth to a miracle. So through this death, through this transition, through this release, expect a miracle. Even though it may hurt. Because when the Empress gives birth to that miracle, it hurts. Trust me. So there's going to be some pain before you receive this miracle. Pain of release, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So endings bring new beginnings that are going to start a whole new life for you. I mean, that she gives birth to a new life. So here's to your new life. That you are being given. So that's what this is. Today is a day of transition, release, and rebirth. Whatever is dying, whatever is dead, you have the option to keep going. To choose that new path, to receive your miracle, the time is now. This is a reward for the pain. Should we get an oracle card? Sure, we might as well, right? So we have we have a major shift here. We do a major shift. Action is being taken. Can't hold on to a dead end situation anymore. It's over and we have a new beginning here. 
after you experience some sort of pain. Now, that song, it says, How to Heal a Broken Heart. Start beating again. Yes, there's a there's a rebirth here. There's a, That makes sense. That does make sense. I'm going back to the words. I'll pay, post the link. I will post the link. Uh-oh. Passion and pleasure. Pleasure. Passion and pleasure. That's why I said, uh oh. It's a dangerous combination. Anyway, um. <coughs> Savor your life. Find joy in the moment. No matter what is occurring in your life. If you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Love often and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. When the traveler meets a band of gypsies, the traveler stops to dance into the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasure wherever you can. Allow your senses to be satiated or satiated or fulfilled, <laughs> in my words. Find and explore the beauty within, with, around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy wherever you can. This is how you are supposed to be. This is how it is supposed to be. So in the cosmos today, tomorrow, whenever this happens, it's, it's about death and rebirth. Try to look at it through a new perspective. Things need to die so that we can begin again, so that we can start over, so that we can be free of what holds us back. So that we can find strength to overcome. There's reasons why we go through transitions and things are removed from our lives. There is a reason for that. There's a purpose. It's a card of purpose. This is too. There's always a purpose. Whatever the purpose is for you, there's a miracle at the end of it. Trust me. Through the pain will be you there will be a miracle, there will be. That's what I have. Talk to you tomorrow.